Welcome back. Morocco's National Basketball League is fast rising in the North African country. Over the years, it has attracted a fairly large audience. The league is structured in two groups with five teams in each, but it still lacks the financial support needed to attract younger players to the court. CCTV's Robert Soy has the details on the league's struggles. Lack of financial support is the most discussed topic in the Moroccan Basketball League because it affects most teams. The league teams have been forced to bring players from outside their hometowns because they cannot afford professional players. This is mainly blamed on the government's focus which is only on football. Football in the North African country is financed mainly by television rights and subsidies from the Moroccan Football Association. However, the nation's basketball teams don't get that kind of support. In Morocco, we have strategies for tourism, economics and agriculture, but not for sports. Our country does not have a vision for sports in general and for basketball in particular. Most of the teams that take part in the national competition don't have an academy to nurture the young players. Every year there's a new team and we have to bring new players from abroad and also from the other cities. Many clubs have declared bankruptcy after being heavily in debt and unable to find a sponsor. The sites face another serious problem. They are not structured to have academies for young players. Foreigners, mainly from the United States, but also from the sub-Saharan countries such as Senegal, use Morocco as a springboard to enhance their prospects. Following stints in Australia, Lebanon and Saudi Arabia, Larry Williams, who's playing his first season with Bakane, said he was ready to share his experience with young team members just to boost the team morale amid financial woes. I think it also can help people if players from the United States who have been coached all their years, they bring their knowledge and experience out here and uh, maybe in their spare time they can run camps for local kids or teach skills and drills to the local kids so they can help pass on that basketball knowledge in the future. The Morocco basketball teams agree on one thing, that the government needs to invest more to boost the game. Robert Soy, CCTV.